This is a crazy breaking story happening in South Africa right now. 4,500 illegal miners are essentially trapped underground in Klagstorp in the Northwest. Authorities are trying to crack down on the Zama Zama activity in the area by cutting off their food and water supply while they are underground. They are hoping this will force miners to resurface so that police can arrest them. However, the miners are refusing to exit the mines and they are starting to starve and become dehydrated. They are even requesting food and water so that they can remain stationed underground for longer. So far about 1,000 miners have decided to resurface and they have been arrested. However, around 4,500 remain underground. There's reports that some of the miners underground have already died and their bodies are starting to decompose. So the this, this story is crazy on its own, right? But what made it even crazier is that the government came out yeah. with a statement after this, mm. which just blew people's minds. Check this out. We're not sending help to criminals. They're, we're going to smoke them out. They will come out. We're not sending help to criminals. Criminals are not to be helped. Criminals are to be persecuted. We didn't send them there. And they didn't go down there for the good benefit or good intentions for the Republic. So we can't help them. Those who want to help them, they must go and take the food down there. They will come out, will arrest them. Okay, firstly, their demands for food while they're in, in there is bizarre. Like for me, I'll admit, that is bizarre. I feel like they need to hand themselves over because unfortunately in every land there are rules, there are laws and if you break the law you have to suffer the consequences of breaking the law. The reason why South Africans are somewhat happy that this is happening mm. and that the government is not trying to support the Zamazamas yeah. is because the Zamazamas for one have come into the country illegally yes. and have terrorized the towns and cities mm. in, a, in and around the mine, in and around the mines that they mine in. Yeah. So whenever they, wherever they, they seem to mine, mm. they seem to terrorize the towns mm. in that vicinity. So what usually happens is, and people have been complaining about Zamazamas for yeah. years now. Zamazamas come, they rape mm. women, mm. they come, they terrorize people, yeah. with, and they come with a lot of guns. Mm. Yeah, they come yeah. with a lot of handguns. They come mm. with a lot of military age, military grade weapons. Yes. So again, Zamazamas are a national security risk yes. because these are these are middle aged men, yeah. military age men. I mean, yeah. coming in with military grade weapons mm. to come and steal the country's natural resources. I feel like they've also been getting away with it because let's be honest, behind them they are funders. You know, yeah, they so, are bigger than the Zamazamas. We've seen this even in the whole thing with Kong, with uh, the DRC and stuff like that. That it's not just the locals that are involved. It's people, especially that's where they get a lot of the ammunition as well. Mm. So it's like we kind of need to address the bigger problem, the ones that are sending them. And it's like we're skirting around that. So they, 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 they come in they illegally mine and basically steal the country's resources sell these resources um mm. into the black market yeah so the so the government doesn't even get anything from their mining because yeah. usually usually when these international companies come and mine here mm. at least there's some form of tax the government but gets I some, feel form, like some sort of to revenue. some degree it's the same it's the same cartel vibe if you get what i mean it's not valuable to the locals they, it's not like they're selling it to locals they're selling it to who it matters most to and like it's like why i feel like the government is also afraid of addressing the actual people that are behind it you can also say that yeah these people are, are heavily funded because they come they come in with a lot of weapons yeah they come in with all the resources that they need to fund yes. they also they, they managed to cross the border with yeah with, with all that with all that stuff ammunition. but they also they also managed to mine alongside these companies yeah these and companies. they've been doing it for a long they mine time. alongside them they mine with them Absolutely. all that stuff like that and then they also mine an abandoned mines and stuff like Absolutely. that so yeah they, they, you can say there's a syndicate involved in all yes. that 
but the issue right now is the Zamazamas. Mm. The issue right now is them. The people, the people who suffer the most from Zamazamas are the locals. Are the locals. And the locals are like, yep. The locals are That's tired. It. The That's locals it. are tired of being terrorized. Yeah. The locals are tired of being threatened. The locals yeah. are tired of um, women being sexually assaulted and yeah. raped and all that kind of stuff like that. So that's why South Africans, when after seeing this story, they were relieved that the government I, it did not help. It the issue that we currently have with legal foreigners in any case, right? Mm. And it's like, now it just keeps manifesting itself in different ways. It just keeps showing itself that this is a big problem and it's not our government is not too concerned about that if they feel like the best course of action is for them to fold their arms and wait for them to die in there is also symbolic of like the terrible government that we have they don't have a solution beyond like okay just let them die in there for for a government i don't know government should government should always try and be diplomatic yes that's kind of nasty business they should always try and be diplomatic they should always try and um be be on the right side of things yes be the bigger people you know you know that it's so it's it's kind of weird using some humanity yeah they should always be they should they should always try and be yeah humane Mm. and you know and don't violate people's rights and all that kind of stuff like that but so this situation is tricky because technically these people are evading arrest they're evading arrest so by the government trying to help them Mm. there will be accessories in evading yeah. arrest okay so it's a similar, so you see how tricky it's a similar situation like a hijacked building now we're gonna it's gonna be a whole gunning down situation and they're probably also trying to avoid casualties and like you know a lot of police officials and you know people losing their lives like okay i get that to some degree but like David, what's the solution to let them die? She suggested smoking them out. Ah, uh, yeah. Throwing gas in there, smoking them out. I mean, I kind of agree. So, I kind of agree. Like, how are you gonna you? What you gonna do? And uh, you, you, you have you have your usual people. You know the people that like to defend criminals, the humanitarians. Yeah. Let's call them that. You have the humanitarians uh, trying to defend the Zamazamas. Again, yeah. trying to look, trying to look at it from a humane perspective to say that, well, uh, these are people that just came into the country to just try and make a living for a themselves, living. you know. And it's wrong that the government I is mean, not trying to help. I mean, a part of me wants to also come with that take. You know what I'm saying? But mm. deep down, I'm also about law, like law first. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Law first. Law is important. We can't keep bending the law because we, you know, then there's no point of the law. You might as well just scrap the whole thing what i what i'd say to that is that yeah it's it's all well and good but you you tend to forget that these are hardened and violent criminals, criminals. Mm. these are violent criminals yeah these people are not afraid to, to murder but and rape they're still human and beings. steal they're not they're not afraid to take a life mm. they're not afraid to rape somebody they're not even afraid to gang rape women mm. which is a case that we've seen before mm. they're not they, they they they're not afraid to be violent criminals mm. they're not afraid of that mm. so they know that them staying in the mind mm-hmm. is their only opportunity to defend themselves from from being arrested yeah so and like the, the audacity order. for you to also want to fight the law yeah. you know what i'm saying like officials of a country like you know that the country is looking at you now and they want to you know like and you still have you are that audacious like so we, we need to start with the law here the law is trying to take its course the police officers are trying to uh, arrest as many of them as they can so this situation is kind of crazy and it's going to unfold as the yeah. days and weeks go by the best case scenario is that they all come out yeah. surrender they get arrested and let the law take its course worst case scenario this will drag on drag on until people start dying and then it might become international you and international news yeah. or even a worse worse case scenario is that maybe the government try and take action and mm. then there's a firefight and then there's a massacre or a, yeah. a, a large number of casualties a large number of zamazamas and police officers and it dying goes down and in becomes it becomes international as, news so yeah. let's just hope that they can uh, they can mitigate the solution yeah, let's just hope that it's possible they can just surrender 
surrender, get arrested, get yeah. processed, get deported, and everybody's and happy. We call it a day. Yeah, but it never usually works out like that in South Africa. But it's an interesting story. So yeah. you guys just let us know what you think about this whole situation. Yeah, let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep watching. Goodbye. We'll check you guys in the next one.